Imagine a scenario where you are in a submarine at a depth of 30 meters exploring the marine and aquatic life. Now, when you are doing that, the submarine which you have embarked develops a snag and you are stuck with your friends and family. How do you think that you are going to be rescued? Think over it. Let me put another case. Think of a submarine, a warship, with 60 to 70 crew, which has gone out on a mission in open seas, develops a snag, or meets with an accident. Now, the boat is disabled, she is stuck, and not able to maneuver on its own. A very grave situation, and they are now seeking for help. How do you think that these people will be rescued? I'm not scaring you, but I'm talking of real lifetime situations where there have been cases that the submarines which get deployed do face problems. Maybe may meet with an accident or have some serious malfunctioning and are stuck underwater with limited uh, duration of oxygen and other resources. So how do you think that this boat or the crew, the human lives inside, can be rescued? Well, in this topic of Bharat Shakti, I am going to discuss about a search and rescue equipment which is now introduced into the Indian Navy for the last 4-5 years and is called Deep Submergence Rescue Vessels. A very specialized kind of a vessel. This boat can operate up to depths of around 600 meters and in case of extreme emergencies can go up to 1500 meters. It has a capability of carrying out rescue of at least 24 crew members at one time. So it's a very, uh, I've told you, this is a very, very specialized kind of a vehicle which is loaded along with its equipment. The equipment involves the submarine rescue vessel, the remotely operated vessels, the side scan sonar, associated equipment. All this comprises of DSRV, which is loaded on board a diving rescue vessel. So all this comprises a DSRV. Now, before I talk about the DSRVs, let me first introduce you to the submarine branch of the Indian Navy. The submarine branch of Indian Navy was introduced almost six decades back when we acquired, when Indian Navy acquired first submarines from Russia. And we have been operating submarines and now we can very comfortably say, I can say with authority that India has mastered the art of submarining. We have a variety of submarines in our inventory, starting from a SSBN to the conventional Western class submarines and the Eastern class submarines, and also we are making SSNs. So it's a whole bouquet of submarines which is being made. Now, when you are a country who has got such a potent submarine arm, there was a capability gap, and that capability gap was not having a DSRV. Of course, we had a kind of a memorandum of understanding with the US Navy that should there be a need or should there be an accident involving an Indian submarine, they will fly the DSRVs from USA to the nearest coast in India and then this DSRV will be you know, uh, shifted to that mothership and the mothership will head towards the place where the, in, the the last uh, known position of the submarine is. Once you reach there, the DSRV will be launched and with the help of its side scan sonars, the ROVs, the DSRV will go and locate the disabled submarine. Now once you locate the disabled submarine, then only this DSRV goes there, goes very close to it and has got a, a capability and got the appendages to mate with the disabled submarine. And once the mating is done, then by making sure that all the parameters are met, 
then the hatches are opened both from the disabled submarine and the DSRV and the personal transfer is done so that the crew can be saved immediately. Now once if you have more number of people then 24 will go into the DSRV, they will then unmate and the DSRV will go to the mothership which is on top of the surface. So once it goes there the personal transfer happens and the DSRV comes again. So this procedure will go till the time the last man is brought out. So this is how the capability gap which existed with the Indian Navy for the last almost five decades has been plugged. And now in the recent Milan also, when all our friendly foreign countries who operate submarines, India has offered this facility that should there be a need, they just have to dial and Indian Navy will endeavor to make sure that DSRV reaches on the scene of incident, accident as fast as possible. And if you recollect in 2021, there was an incident with involving a Indonesian submarine where Indian Navy had sent this DSRV. So that's another story what happened over there. I'm not going into that. So this is how I wanted to tell you about DSRVs. And before that, I'll request you to like, subscribe and share our content on YouTube and feel free to comment or give recommendations as to what do you want to what do you want us to bring out in the next episode. So this is what is long and short of a DSRV deep submergence rescue vessels a huge capability which India has now got and incidentally out of the 20 nations or maybe a little more than that who operate submarines all over the world, India is one of the few countries who has got this capability. So this is a must for a submarine operating nation and though we did not have it before 2018-2019, we had some arrangements, we had some uh, arrangements with some navies who had this kind of facility but now in 2018-2019, we have acquired two DSRVs from a UK firm, James Fisher Defence. And now this capability is up and running with India and has been offered to all our friendly foreign navies in the region and beyond should there be a need arise. With this, I come to an end of this episode of Bharat Shakti. This is Captain Sharma signing off.